Fans of Beyond the Gates of Antares, thank you very much for joining me for an out of the pack review of the C3 support team with X Howitzer for the Concorde by Warlord Games. What we have here is a mixed resin and metal kit of this impressive looking artillery piece for use in the game Beyond the Gates of Antares with the Concorde faction. This model has been kindly donated to Channel Leaky Cheese by Warlord Games for review purposes. I will review this according to the way I always review. I'm going to point out the good bits, however if anything's bad I'll also make that clear to you as well. But please do bear that in mind when assessing the opinions that I offer you in this review. Let's have a quick look around the box. As we can see we have the howitzer itself, we have a number of crew and an ammunition pod perhaps and a drone. So let's have a look around this. It's quite, um, it's quite a weighty pack, so it feels like it's quite densely filled with stuff made in Great Britain, and these definitely are made in Great Britain. Yeah, looks good. So let's uh, get the packaging off first. So I'm going to have my usual tussle with the plastic, as everybody likes to watch now. I'm going to go in with the scalpel. There we go. All right, all of that's off. It's quite a very shiny box. Got the lights on, as you can tell. All right, let's have a quick look at the back. So we have another picture. So there's three gunners, a drone, and then the ammo pod as well as the mortar itself. And then we get a little bit of background about it. So it basically says how this is a massive artillery piece. There's three broad sizes of X launcher in Beyond the Gates of Antares. There's the X sling, which is like a forearm mounted weapon. Then you have the X launcher, which is like a traditional mortar. And then you get the weapons in the howitzer class, which are like this. So these are like fixed artillery pieces or large emplaced artillery pieces. But I'm guessing that this isn't emplaced in the traditional sense of the word. Without further ado, let's open this pack up and see what's inside. So we've got a bit of cardboard packaging and a big blister full of parts. And we have a guide to using uh, resin, I think, yes, Warlord Games resin kits. So a bit Star Wars style, there you go, that's going to scroll up the screen in a galaxy a long time ago, far, far away and all that. There you go. So if you'd like to read that, you've got the opportunity. We'll put the box in the background to look attractive. We can uh, discard a bit of packaging, clever way of uh, keeping everything still. And then this blister we will have a look at. Now this is absolutely bursting with bits, so let's not make it suffer any longer and open it up. So we've got a bit of foam there. This is a large base, which is hmm, probably 50 millimeters base at. We get a 50 millimeter base and then we get the body of the X howitzer itself. That's a resin component. And then we've got a whole series of metal parts as well. And actually when you look at it, the majority of this model is actually metal. Right, I just tipped everything out there very ungracefully. So one base, then we've got another one, two, three, four, and five 25 millimeter Warlord bases. So these are a common design to various products. And they've got a whole variety of metal components. Oh, here we go. We've got a single plastic flight stand and this is for the drone. So that's the bases dealt with. We'll take these out of shot, we'll look at them and we'll pop them into shot one by one. So let's start with the centerpiece of this model and that is the body of the X howitzer itself. Right, this is a resin component. Let's have a look to see what it looks like. It's made out of Warlord Games' signature resin material. So it's quite smooth. Warlord Games' resin is a bit more it has more flexibility in it than other resins I've seen. It still seems to work well. But what we're really interested in here is the quality. And the quality looks really rather good. These mounting points here are where these, I don't know, targeting petals are going to sit? I don't know what to call them. Targeting fronds? No, sounds a bit silly that. Oops, come here focus. But everything on this part looks really Nicely formed. We've got a little, got an air bubble there, so that would need filling. Uh, that's not too bad. Okay, that's one little bit to fix. Got a couple of key attachment points here. As is characteristic, as it seems to be characteristic with Warlord Games models, they de-key these. 
they take the gates off before they ship them out to customers and this is no exception that's what allows them to get them in these small packaging boxes i guess that saves on a whole load of costs isn't it across the board i'm looking at this and this looks really really nice yeah absolutely bob on no faults there whatsoever just that one air bubble there but that's uh that's no biggie and that will fill very easily that's the x howitzer itself i should put that pop it oh. Oh, you see? i'm gonna try that again there you go see you can imagine it bombarding some gar in the distance okay we're going to now look at the first of the metal sprues so these are the feet for the howitzer and there are well there's actually four one had a decided to detach itself from the sprue so these are made out of pewter a low lead content pewter bit of a mold seem to take away there but not too much and a few a uh, few bits of uh, runoff air runoff points that looks nice and i guess that these guys are somehow going to mount onto this now how Oh, right, there you go, there you go, like that, so, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that fits really nice with that, so yeah. That may, uh, I think that may benefit from a pin, but maybe not. Put the X howitzer back down, see if we can get it to balance once more. And the game begins. Can Leaky Cheese balance the X howitzer in less than 10 attempts? Well, the answer was yes. Right, so another three feet. These are identical to the previous one, it would appear. And uh, those, are, those are beautifully well cast. They're even better than the first one. In the first one had a little seam on it, but those are flawless. Dead good. Those are very easy to put together. Let's have a look at the targeting petals, as I called them. I'm sure that's some sort of heresy. Well, they don't have heresy, do they? Targeting petals. I'm trying to think of a better name. Perhaps that's one for you uh, guys and girls in the comments. What's a better name for these than targeting petals? Or, you know, perhaps targeting petals is the correct name. Um, flora comparisons aside, let's talk about the quality on these and the quality on these that one is flawless and then we have another three and they pass muster with the same gusto and panache perfect okay let's move on to this intriguing piece so what's this ah okay so this is the what I call the ammo pod so this thing here on the box quite novel this it looks like it's sort of retracts open a bit like a tulip isn't it this is going to be this whole episode is just going to be plant and flower comparisons i have to see how many I can get in there is a mold seam that runs all the way around this that is going to need removing should be all right it's a bit less tidy around this side where we've got the gate and it looks like we've got a couple of air bubbles there to fill not sure i don't know this i'm not sure if those are pin locators but all in all, that looks very nice. Yeah, no complaints there. So I'll pop that besides the X howitzer. We will move on to the drones next, or the drone, drone singular. This is a little doohickey weebly drone. I think that it's got a tail there. And then this is the actual drone itself. So that's gonna to attach somehow to the back, I guess. Yeah, quite neat. I guess that's gonna be a spotter drone. Very good. Nicely cast, maybe a little bit of a mold seam to take away in certain places. Generally, not too much to do there. And now let's move on to the crew. So there are three crew. Do the two loaders first. So this is the first of the two loaders. So you can see that this dude here, or dudette, has got some sort of ammo lifting device. And this is what they're going to plunk shells into the howitzer to launch. I don't know exactly where they go, but anyway, how's this look? This all looks very nice. My experience thus far with Antares figures is they've been well cast. Well, very well cast, actually. Come back, focus. This is no exception. There's, I don't, there's barely any mold line to take away here at all. It's very, um, very encouraging. We've got a bigger gate here, which has been to ensure that there is any air capture. So that's going to be a little bit, require a bit more careful work just to protect the end of the howitzer shell. And then there's a second loader, which is in a different position. Let me just get the other guy or guyette back. There you go. So you've got two loaders. Let's have a look. As with the previous models I've reviewed from that were given to me by Warlord Games, these were picked randomly off the shelf in their storage area because I saw it happen. So there's been no preferential selection of model to give me unless they're really, really cunning and sneaky, which... 
I don't believe is the case. I take that as being a good indicator of what any model would look like. That model's very nice. Bigger air runoff to take off here, but hardly anything in the way of the mold seem to take away. And the final model, oh no, sorry, these two loaders have these nifty heads. So these are your classic Concorde style helmet, but they've got these targeting doohickeys attached or targeting vision gear. They're quite small. I'll try it and let's see how close we can get. And there you go. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much in the way of cleanup to do, if any, at all there. So very nice. And then the final thing is what we might call the gun commander. And this person has got a pair of, what could we call them? Macro binoculars. And they're uh, obviously giving some spotting information or targeting orders to the crew. And we don't know if this thing is if he's spotting through line of sight or if he's getting a data feed via his spotter drone or some other part of Intel's sensor network. But sensor networks aside, in terms of casting quality, again, we have a very nice turned out model. A little seem to take away. Apart from that, a bit more, yeah, a little bit running around there, but not unexpected on these models. But again, beautifully turned out. So I think that's everything. Ooh, bit of foam. That looks really good. That looks like a 10 out of 10 for quality. Well, I suppose maybe say 9.5 out of 10 if we've got a tiny air bubble on the mortar, but I think that's splitting hairs. It's very nicely turned out kit, and it looks like it's going to be very quick to clean up and put together. So there you have it, the Concord C3 support team with X Howitzer for Beyond the Gates of Antares by Warlord Games. Once again, thank you to Warlord Games for donating this to channel Leaky Cheese for review. But everybody else who's watching, please do let me know your thoughts and observations on this particular kit. Have you got one of these? Have you got a whole battery of these? Do you regularly terrorize your Algorin opponents with these? I'm very interested to hear as always. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.